I might go with that on this occasion. Although I might change my mind later. But that's the other good thing about this. This uh, program is that you can just you can go. Hmm, I don't like that being that color. I'm going to make it this color. Uh, you'll have noticed the bar at the bottom with all the different colors on it. You can literally just click to change the cell color of anything. Uh, but you can also obviously eyedropper it. But bear in mind again, if you've got a stroke that you want to colour, you're going to have to hold down shift while you're doing this because otherwise it won't do what you think it's going to do and it might mess you up slightly until you figure out what's happened. Right, so I think B shapes can work for that and I think I have, uh, yeah I've got some of them here. So I've got various different versions of them though. I've got this plain version, I've got a bit that's wider on the bottom. I've got this thing that's got a separate piece on the bottom. Uh, so which one do I want for these? Just the plain one. Just the no frills, no wider on the bottom. This one. So let's bring that down here. And see, that looks awfully small. However, I wonder if I can get away with it because up here there's very similar shapes that are the perfect size and it makes me think that something has happened to mess with the size of things in the raster image. Like the angle it was taken at is slightly off making one end seem bigger than the other end. It could be that. Or the other thing you can do with control is you can go here to put, like, put a corner of it in place, r roughly where you think it's going to be. And then you can hold down control and then you can drag out the other corner. And I think that would work actually there. Now it's a bit bigger than, the edging is a bit bigger than I'd like now. Hmm. You know what, I'm going to test something and I'm going to see if something that I can measure is the same size or not. Right, one of these little people maybe. Let's see. Let me see. Let's... I can't see your feet very well, but that's roughly the size of you. So, let's take this wee shape and measure it against someone on this side. See, that's more or less the same size. So these shapes must be bigger, I guess. I don't know why, but they are. Huh. So I could just do what I've done here and resize this, but it does make the edge the wrong size, like I said. Now, the reason this is moving together as one and it's two different colours isn't because it's it isn't this, it isn't making two shapes one thing, because if it was that it would um it would change the colour to be one colour. It'd be the same colour. This is a group. Now what you can do is you can objects there's group and there's ungroup. Now you can just ungroup there. You can see they're two separate shapes now. So I'm going to use this shape to be the middle bit there, which I'm okay with, and I'm going to just delete that shape and start again for that one. So I think I will just duplicate these across. Now this looks like a slightly different colour, but it, it also looks like it might be a slightly different size, but I'm just going to go with the same size because I feel that that works better. For my purposes, I'm going to change that to uh, oh, it's the nearest bit of pink. It's the nearest bit of pink. Come here, where are you? There you are. That. And then I'm going to just make a new version of this, basically. Now, this gets difficult because to make this the same shape you have to click when that's red. So 
so sometimes I forget and I end up with two shapes. Now, this is the bit I get annoyed with myself at because I often end up uh, with this situation where I can see that that's slightly off. But that's fine. That's fine. This can be repaired. Let's actually let's put that in there and oh this by the way you can drag guides out of the little rulers at the side. Right, let's select that one with this tool. This is the edit paths by nodes tool. So names there. And what I did is I held control so I could move precisely up and down. Uh and then I just brought it to this line here, this guide I made and it clipped to it and that guide was on the same level as that one so that should be perfect. Right and now I will go to actually I will change the colour first so it shows up better against the dark background. I'll hold shift and I'll click through the eyedropper here that makes it the same colour. Uh, with stroke paint and let's see no go to stroke style sorry and make this line thinner. I think that's probably enough. I don't think I need to make it thinner than that. Uh, I will. Like this tool, so I've got my my bar back. Uh, and I will change that to a path. Cool. And am I the right color? Let's check the fill color. No, I need to change the opacity again. Same five, that's us. I also want to make sure that this is in the middle. So, slide them both. I go to the alignment tool, which is down here on the right. Align and distribute objects. And this is this. So, this will align things to the, to the last selected object. So, hang on, if I deselect. So, if I do that. And then I select that one, that's the last selected. It will just like center on the vertical axis. There we go, it's slightly moved it. I don't want to center it on the horizontal one because that would bring pull it down to a place where it's not supposed to be. There's supposed to be more space below it than there is above it. So we'll leave it at that. It does mean that I could just get rid of these now. Yeah, let's just delete those ones and copy this whole shape. First, we'll group them. So we'll put them together like that. We'll select both of them, I mean, and then we'll go to uh, we'll go to object, and we'll group them, and then they'll move as one. So we'll be selected as one and move as one. So we'll duplicate that. They're also duplicated as one. You can also use Control G to group things or Control Shift G to ungroup things. It's another shortcut. Also, if you've got a thing that's grouped like this, you can double click it so you can edit things in the group. But you have to remember that you've done that because otherwise you could make a, say, you make a new object, put it here, and then that's fine. And you think you're okay, and you, you're like, oh, I should move that thing I just made. Oops, I made it inside the group. That can happen. So just be aware. Oh no! Inkscape encountered an internal error and will close now. No! Don't close. Please don't close. Please don't close. I bet I'll close when I do this. Hang on. Hang on. I can fix this. Wait, I can fix this. <laughs> Give me a moment. Right. Okay. And we'll be back in a moment. Just need to fix this silly, silly thing. Right. Which version was it? That one. Sometimes that happens as well. You'll be in the middle of something and suddenly your creaking old computer will go, oh, you know what? No. Not doing it. Not into it today. Oh, okay. Cool. But. I'll show you. The other good thing about Inkscape is that it does have a bit of an autosave function, so you're not completely screwed. 
Right, okay, so let's try that again. I'll select, I'll double click that and we'll select that object in it and we'll turn it to this pink here. And then we'll double click outside of it and we should be free of the object. Yes, we're fine. Cool. Anyway. You know what? Maybe I should have saved it. No, it's got an autosave and I've got a backup anyway. The autosave when it crashes actually makes a new file. So the name at the top of this has the date on it now. Uh, I'm always a bit worried that it's going to forget how to do that and just die on me when it happens. Because poor old computer. But it's so far worked absolutely brilliantly and I've had no problems. <sighs> and it's not even done the weird thing where everything disappears today, so that's even better. But like I said, things haven't actually disappeared, it's just a... It's a, like a, a zoom glitch. It, think, it makes things look like they've disappeared when they haven't. So you're fine, but it, the first time it happens can be a bit a bit of a concern. And I've just pulled that down, that guide down, so I can make sure this is completely straight from the start. Right, hang on. Go red. There we go. The node's gone red. So that means I can just continue the same line. That's handle to guide means it's on the right bit. So this should be perfect. Yes. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Okay. Now. Let's just take that down one, and we will uh, 